Quasi here. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the seven rules that you need to follow in order to make the most effective affirmations. Before I begin this video, I'm announcing that I'll be doing a free giveaway of my book, Life Mastery. So if you want a chance to win this book, it's around $12 on Amazon. Just comment Life Mastery down below to get it for free. So at the end of the week, we're going to do a competition and pick one winner. And you'll get this book in the ebook version for free. So just comment Life Mastery down below to be entered into the competition. Also, I'm excited to announce that the Reality Mastery program is open for enrollment still in May. And we're still holding the one-on-one -on -one free consultation. Wait till the end of the video for the announcement on that. I'm gonna to talk to you about the seven rules that you need to follow in order to make the most effective affirmations. Now, let's understand why affirmations really work. Like apart from, you know, molding you at a subconscious, unconscious level, there's also another aspect to it. And this aspect relates to human perception. So we do visualization because visualization relates to human perception in the visual sense. So there are three perceptions human beings have. There's the visual perception, there's the auditory perception, and there's the kinetic perception. The visual perception is what you see. Auditory is again, what you hear. And you know, kinetic is what you feel. So these are the three perceptions. And we've already done visual. And now let's talk about affirmations, which is your auditory perception, what you're hearing every single day. I found out that in my personal life, when I was doing affirmations, they would eventually get stagnant. And the same affirmations wouldn't work for a longer period of time. And I've thought about that for a while and I was wondering, well, why is this? And what really makes affirmations work? And upon doing affirmation after affirmation, I've seen actually what works and what doesn't. And you know, I just don't want you to struggle anymore. So I've found out the secret that makes affirmations work. And here are my seven rules that get affirmations to really work in your life. So let's start with the first one. The affirmation must be feeling rich. So, you know, what happens in reality transurfing, which is basically a quantum physics model of viewing the events in reality and how they occur. It's written by an author called Vadim Zeeland. So you should definitely check that book out if you haven't already. It's like the Bible of manifestation. But in that book, Vadim Zeeland talks about that any goal is manifested when there is a unity between heart and mind. So your mind is the one that thinks, your heart is the one that feels. Whenever your affirmation is feeling rich, the heart, it's, access, it's accessible to the heart. Because the heart doesn't really understand words, it understands feelings. Whenever there is feeling there and the sensations are there, then the heart is communicable with. Make sure that your affirmations aren't just, you know, mindlessly muttered with no feeling whatsoever. The more feeling you can get out of your affirmation, the more powerful it will be. The second rule is that each affirmation should have a narrow focus. So don't combine many goals at once because this again, you know, it's difficult to invoke the sensations of multiple goals in one affirmation. So have many affirmations, but each for a single goal that you have, because now you are not dividing up your intention. You may be dividing it up into affirmations, but the, each affirmation can now focus on the sensations more uh, intensely. So the intensity of the sensation is strengthened once you have a narrow focus on each affirmation. So remember that each affirmation should be catered for one goal or one thing that you want. Third, avoid monotony and uniformity. This was a big one for me. Like, you know, I would say affirmations like, oh, I am attractive, I am powerful, etc., etc. And I, the more I would say it, the more it would get monotonous. I would find that it works the first few days and then it just becomes like a neutral for me. Like it's just saying the words over and over again. And remember that when there is no more feeling in that, no more sensation in that, then you can't communicate with the heart. So it doesn't really work as effectively anymore. It just becomes your new default. So you don't really notice any changes happening in your reality anymore. The way that you put, probably would have wanted it to. So, you know, try to, the solution behind this I found out is that once you use an affirmation for 40 days, it becomes a part of your system. So now, you know, after it becomes a part of your system, it just sort of loses its power over you. So I would suggest that every two to three months, definitely change up your affirmations. Maybe use the same goal, but a different affirmation for it that makes you feel better. So, 
always cater your affirmations to how you feel because we want to get to the heart. The mind and the heart need to come in unity in order for our goals to manifest. The next one I find a lot of people doing, and I myself have done this, is focus on what you do want instead of what you don't want. So a lot of people focus on things that they want, they don't want, like, oh, I'm not fearful and I'm not scared, etc., etc. Because if you focus on what you don't want, you're invoking another powerful principle of reality transurfing, which is the mirror principle. And the more you focus on what you don't want, the more of that thing that you don't want you get. So the reality doesn't really care about the nature of your thoughts, it cares about the content. You know, so your pure, the purified content is what gets reflected in this mirror. And we'll talk about that, more about that in a uh, later video. So don't focus on what you don't want, rather focus on what you do want in your life instead. So make all your affirmations like, oh, I'm brave and I'm confident, not, oh, I'm not scared, I'm not this, I'm not that. Rather, find the positive of that. What you focus on, you create more of. If you focus more on negativity and lack, you're gonna propagate more and more of lack into your life. The next one you want to follow, and this is really crucial, is make sure you're in a zero emotion state when you're doing your affirmations. And affirmations are the most effective when you're in a zero emotion state. And by this, I don't mean that, oh, wait, you just said we must have feeling quasi. What, what do you mean zero emotion state? Zero emotion state means no feelings. Here's what I mean. Prior to saying your affirmations, make sure you're in a zero emotion state. Like, if you have an affirmation of I am brave, make sure you're not going through a situation right now that requires courage and you're really scared. Like, if you're scared right now and you're saying your affirmation, no, no, I'm brave, I'm brave, I'm brave, I'm brave, it won't work. And that's because you're invoking what is known as excess potential. Because when you're in a state of importance or heightened importance level, you attribute excess meaning to something in your life, whether it be yourself or someone else, you know, you're attributing excess meaning to it. Whenever there is excess meaning, then you need more intention energy to first of all, overcome this excess potential. Second of all, pursue your goals. If you don't know what excess potential is, click up here. This will clarify it up a lot more. So make sure that all of the affirmations that you say are in a state of zero emotion when you're feeling dispassionate, when you don't have any sort of outside influences on you. But when you say your affirmations, feel the sensations of your target goal. That is very important. So here is the distinction on that. Number six, write your affirmation in first person. And I cannot stress this enough. Like if you write down, oh, <clears throat> quasi is wealthy, quasi is this, quasi is that. Now, you know, you don't experience the emotions yourself. This isn't me anymore. It's just quasi. Oh, quasi's doing that. That's cool. But, you know, the heart doesn't really understand who's quasi and who's not. Like, it just knows that, oh, I'm experiencing. Who is the experiencer? This is I. I am doing the experiencing. So, if possible, write down your affirmations in the I am form, or if not, just write down me. You know, good things are happening to me all the time. And it's almost like, reality simulation. Another way to powerfully impact your reality is through reality simulation. So click up here on the video on that. And reality simulation is a powerful way to tweak your affirmations so that you can experience a different part of it. It's like kind of being in a conversation with someone and you say, oh, I'm making $20,000 a month, etc., etc." And finally, number seven, make sure that you write your affirmations in the present tense. And I cannot stress this enough. I see a lot of people write, Oh, I will have this, I will have that. And the more the frames of life keep unfolding, the more that I will keeps unfolding in that way too. So there's always this distance between, you know, you right now and you getting it in the future. And the more affirmation you say in the future, the, as the frames unroll, they also go into the future. So make sure you don't write, I will get that. Embody your affirmation right now. Say and write your affirmation as though you're experiencing right now and you already have it. So something like, oh, I'm easily making $20,000 a month is a good affirmation. Something like, I will make $20,000 a month is a bad affirmation. So if you write your affirmations in the future tense, expect to always have that distance between who you are now, where you are now, and that reality that you'd like to experience someday in the future. And that's basically how you can influence your reality through affirmation. So those are the seven techniques. So just to recap, I'm going to read them out for you again. Uh, number one, make your affirmations feeling rich. The more sensations you can get out of them, the better, because the only way to communicate with the heart is through feelings. Number two, each affirmation should have a narrow focus. Don't combine multiple goals into one. 
it makes the intensity of the sensations much stronger if you can focus on one affirmation at a time and one goal associated with each affirmation. Number three, avoid the monotony and uniformity. And in order to avoid this, the biggest problem is that people are using the same affirmation year after year after year. And it just doesn't work that way. Like you'll eventually lose power over this affirmation. So make sure you're changing it every 40 to two to three months. And when you do change it, make sure it's the same goal, but it's just a different formulation of it such that you feel the affirmation. And you know, just write your affirmations yourself. Don't just find affirmations online if they don't make you feel good. If they invoke a feeling within you, then that's great. But I personally like to do my own affirmations because now I can cater it to the way I want. I get inspiration online, which is awesome, but then writing my own is just, I write my own affirmations. Number four, uh, focus on what you want rather than what you don't want. A lot of people you know, focus on what they don't want and what they want to avoid, and then you get more of things that you actually want to avoid, so it doesn't make sense. Reality doesn't distinguish between like, what you want and what you don't want. It just reflects the feeling and the attitude, the content. So whatever content you're putting in this affirmation, it'll reflect it. If you say, I don't want fear, then it'll say fear, fear, reflect more fear. And then number five, make sure you're in a zero emotion state or zero excess potential when you're saying your affirmations. So make sure you're in a dispassionate state when you're doing your affirmations. If you're going through a period of fear, like, oh, you're scared right now and you wanna say some affirmations, not gonna work because now you have this excess potential that you need to overcome and then you know, visualize your goal and then manifest your goal, whatever it is. Number six, write your affirmations in the first person. So it should be I, me, me, I, etc. It shouldn't be quasi, you know, etc., etc. someone's name. Make sure it's you who is doing the experiencing. Finally, write your affirmations in the present tense as though you've already gotten what you want or you're experiencing it right now in this moment. You are having it, you have it, you are enjoying it, you enjoy it, just like that. So with that, those are the seven rules that make affirmations really work. And I hope you'll try them out and craft your new affirmations like this. And let me know in the comments what you think and how affirmations have been working out for you so far. And uh, just try this out for the next 40 days. I challenge you. And if you are excited to do that and you actually want to do that, write down challenge accepted in the comments below and you know, just craft your new affirmations. I recommend no more than 10 affirmations following these seven rules and see how it turns out for you. With that, thanks for watching this video. Hope this helped. And if you enjoyed this kind of stuff, remember to like, leave me a comment and then subscribe. Yeah, I never do that enough. And also I'm excited to announce that I'm growing a massive Facebook group where I'll be sharing all of this kind of stuff. And we have a great group of 1200 members. So I'm really excited for you to join that. I would love for you to have I would love for you to be in that community with like-minded people who are pursuing a similar sort of way of manifesting their goals, which is awesome. So definitely click on the link in the description below to join. And also, I'm excited to announce that the Reality Mastery Program is open for enrollment. If you didn't know what the Reality Mastery Program is, it's basically catered to the most powerful paradigm of manifestation. I found that in my life, I was getting sick of manifesting the little things and trying technique after technique after technique. Like I tried out so many techniques, it got ridiculous. 55 times five, you know, two cup method, you name it, I tried it. And you know, it just didn't quite work out. And I was not understanding why it didn't work out. And then I found out that if you want to manipulate reality, you have to understand the deeper principles of reality. And what I understood was that everything is in a state of becoming. If you can embody the ideal version of you and who you're becoming, then you'll attract your reality the way you want it. So there is the doing paradigm, you know, there's the having paradigm, and then finally there's the being paradigm. When you're focused on being, you effortlessly do, and then you effortlessly have. So be, do, have. It comes in that order. So always, always work on manifesting through first becoming. And that's why I came up with the identity shifting principle. And I understood what it was, and I implemented it into my life, and I found out that when I first became the attractive version of Quasi, I attracted my dream partner. When I first became you know, the quasi that gets a 4.0 GPA, the 4.0 GPA student quasi, then I got a 4.0 GPA in school. When I first became the successful entrepreneur quasi, then I was able to quit my nine to five job and take entrepreneurship and doing what I love and what I'm passionate about full time. And I know this is possible for everyone as well if you just adhere to the right principles. So if you're interested in the free consult, click on the link in the description below. And what we'll do in this free consult is take around 45 minutes to an hour to diagnose your current law of attraction practices and see how you can implement identity shifting into your life 
right now and if you're a good fit for the program. So if you're interested, definitely click on the link in the description below and I hope I see you. Till next time, peace.